Hi there guys, Gareth here and welcome to this Venia Plunk production. So this video has been a long time in the making. I just couldn't put my thumb or my finger, what have you, onto how I was going to do this video. And then it slapped me in the face, yes, like a giant wet fish, how I can approach this video and how I can actually talk about what I want to talk about in this video. Now, I have said I'm going to do a dedicated video on this and I'm going to do a dedicated video on this, but once again, I would just like to make a massive, massive shout out to those that know who they are to do with the Xbox One S because it's going to come up quite a bit in this video and whenever I talk about the Xbox One S in any extensive capacity, I'm going to shout out the fact that some friends basically got together and bought me or gave me the money, raised the money for the Xbox One S. I don't care who watches this video and whether you get pissed off the amount of times I mention that. When I get something that someone else has bought me, no matter what, I'm grateful for it. Unlike some people that may upload videos and then... Anyway, moving on swiftly from that one. I'm gonna take a swig of milk. So, I've been wrangling with a decision for quite some time now, but I, th I think I've come to terms on what my decision is going to be. And this video is a follow-up from my last video when I spoke about some big changes that are coming and that I'm going to work through. One of those changes was to start gaming more and watch YouTube less, which has actually happened. You know, watching YouTube less and gaming more has happened. This week's been an exception because it's E3 week and I'm watching a lot of Giant Bomb content. But Giant Bomb isn't YouTube, is it? <laughs> I know, probably same difference type scenario. But you get what I'm trying to say, guys. So, I was trying to pinpoint where my gaming funk started to really take effect and really come into its own. And it was a couple of years ago, I distinctly remember I was doing some YouTube videos and I wanted to keep my finger on the pulse of YouTube, basically. So I started watching a lot more YouTube and started, you know, consuming a lot less reviews and previews and, you know, all that kind of stuff to do with games. And I started watching a boatload of YouTube videos. The reason for that is simply because I was doing more YouTube videos and I felt like I needed to keep my finger on the pulse with YouTube. And I used to be like with... I've been like that with every you know sort of hobby I've been into. With gaming, I remember back in the day I used to load up IGN, GameSpot, Giant Bomb, you know all the different game websites from from time to time. Rock, Baker, Rock, Rock Paper Shotgun I used to load up all those websites and then just you know look at all the all the news, click on what I wanted to click on, and then I'd go off and play um, whatever game. In fact, in my brain I distinctly remember playing Assassin's Creed quite often during these times. And then my gaming funk came along, and that's because I upped my my YouTube output, my YouTube video output, and then I started watching just any old YouTube video because I felt like I needed to keep my thing on the pulse of YouTube, and I thought the best way to do that was to watch YouTube videos, and of course that way I could keep my thing on the pulse and all that kind of stuff. Well, that of course led to a decline in gaming and led to me becoming ultra sensitive about what other people thought about what I was doing. And this all came to a head yesterday. I was sat there playing Elder Scrolls Online Unlimited and I was literally sat there feeling guilty for liking the game because I'd heard on the grapevine that people, that it was a bad game uh, I've recently heard that it was in the last year, it's actually improved quite significantly, but I heard on the grapevine that it was a bad game and that I shouldn't enjoy it. And that's when it hit me like a brick. I need to pretty much expunge YouTube from my life and try my best to get rid of the, I suppose, the paranoia or the ultra sensitivity of thinking what other people are going to think about what I'm doing with my, with my spare time, with my gaming time, so to speak. And there are some people out there, and this is definitely a thing that's happened in the last couple of years, majorly, and that's that 
especially publishers and developers. Publishers and developers, their marketing campaigns try and make you feel guilty for not playing the, their most up-to-date, upcoming games, especially Call of Duty and Battlefield. Uh, those are the most guilty when it comes to this mode of marketing. Basically guilt tripping. And I was I bought Splinter Cell Conviction, you know, over the weekend, and I've been having a boatload of fun with Splinter Cell Conviction. To give you one context, Splinter Cell Conviction is an eight-year-old game now, came out in 2010, and I'm having a boatload of fun with it, and yet I'm feeling guilty for having a boatload of fun with an eight-year-old game because of how modern media and how modern marketing makes you feel when you play a game that's not the most current up-to-date game. And I've spoken about the paradox of choice quite often and that, you know, you want to play this, want to do that, want to play this. And that sometimes just sitting down and playing something is the best way to combat that or just sitting down and watching something is the best way to combat that because you're eliminating the choice and you're just sitting down and going, but choice, here I go. Two seconds, take a... And long story short... I need to get like that when it comes to... I forgot my watch, I just realised. I need to get like that when it comes to gaming, basically. I need to stop thinking about what other people may be thinking about what I'm playing and just play what the fuck I want to play. And I said to myself yesterday, in fact, I went to bed after playing Elder Scrolls Online. I was on my phone for a while, going through Twitter and going through... Um, was it going through YouTube? I can't actually quite remember if I was on YouTube or was just going through Twitter and things. And I just kind of to think to myself. And I said to myself, stuff it. I'm enjoying Elder Scrolls Online. I don't care what anybody else thinks. I'm enjoying it. Screw everybody else. You know. And I was really trying to rack my brain over why I felt this way. And to be honest with you, I think YouTube could be to blame. Now... You know, I, over the last, you know, few days, I have said I've been watching a lot of Giant Bomb content, and that's actually quite pertinent to what I want to speak about. And everybody at Giant Bomb, all of the staff members and all of the people involved, are very accepting of what other people want to play. Whereas the internet, outside of that bubble, people are very prejudice they are very I mean, in fact i i saw it in in the giant bomb chat while i was watching their their day one you know giant bomb at night thing stream i saw it in the chat i had to close the chat to get rid of the the toxic um vibes this person was giving me but he he literally said oh hi there sony and nintendo fans oh how disappointed are you are you because he was a microsoft or xbox fanboy and he was basically um, pissing on sony and nintendo fans because as far as he was concerned they had a lackluster presentation now i think all presentations were good some may be a bit disappointing the square enix one wasn't exactly anything to write home about but they gave some you know they gave some things to look forward to at the end of the day i don't think any of the presentations were necessarily bad just some of them weren't as as yeah, a bit disappointing, I would say. But you know, this person came along, just pissed upon Sony and Nintendo fanboys, and I literally had to close that away and get rid of that toxic feeling because it was a direct disparity between the Giant Bomb staff, who are very accommodating, very supportive and positive of what people want to play, and whether you want to play a 12-year-old game, a 20-year-old game, or you want to play a game that was released last month. It's entirely up to you. And that's basically where I want to be. So I'm going to strive to really cut down on YouTube watching and just simply, you know, game away. Uh, basically, there are a few YouTube channels I'm still going to check out. I mean, Xbox One, which ironically is <laughs> Xbox UK's official um, YouTube channel, but they they do a series called World Hard, Hardest Achievements, which I like quite a bit, and that's just a fun challenge based uh, video series. I don't tend to watch their you know top ten or whatever videos. Um, and basically, I'm gonna steer away from the channels that are prejudice or 
try and curb you into thinking a certain way. And I actually think vlogs, uh, some vlogs especially, are very guilty of this. And tw you know, Twitter and publishers and, and developers are very guilty of this. And I want to st stay away from all that because it's toxic to be completely honest. And I finally worked out what it is that's been derailing me from gaming for all this time and it's everything I spoke about in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you understand where I'm coming from and what I mean by what I say in this video. Don't forget guys, like, dislike, subscribe, hit the bell icon, make sure the quotation is around it and you receive a notification to your device of choice. Until next time though, I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra guys.